But I think that this has been a very helpful uh, interaction. Second thing is to say that uh, there is every, there's no reason at all and there are no excuses mm -hmm. on the part of government for the state of affairs in, uh, in this community and in this area. This is a very important uh, economic axis for Nigeria, no question at all. I mean, all, most of our imports and exports come through here. In a largely import-dependent economy, we certainly cannot afford to have the state of affairs such as it is today here. And this is also an important residential community. No excuse at all for not having the facilities in the way that they ought to have. And, I'm, and I don't uh, really want to make any excuses. All I want to say is that we certainly you know, uh, hold ourselves responsible and to account for all of the issues and problems, especially those that concern uh, the federal government. And by we, I mean the federal government, Ministry of Works, Ministry of Transport, including MPA, uh, because a lot of the issues, a lot of the issues can really I mean, for example, the infrastructure issues are really issues that we can deal with and that uh, I, I believe that we must commit ourselves uh, to, to dealing with. Well, regarding the issues, uh, the other issues, I mean, I, I, I'm not, I know that the authorities are quite competent, the MPA, the Navy, and the authorities in charge of keeping uh, law and order and traffic are able to do those, and I'm not going to uh, spend any time at all on that. But to say that the roads, for example, we're working uh, quite hard now on trying to get approval for, uh, for doing all of these roads. Now, the Apapa Oshodi uh, Expressway, especially uh, the Mile 2 Liverpool uh, to Liverpool roundabout, is of course an important, uh, a very important road. But uh, it has been delayed, uh, just as the uh, controller of work said. But I'm personally trying to see that we're able to get that uh, through. And we are trying to look at immediate steps that can be taken, just in case as that, that becomes slow in any way. And I was just talking to, the, uh, to His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, about what we can do to speed that whole process up. But I can guarantee that we will certainly get uh, all of the approvals required in the next, I, mean, I, I don't think it should take us longer than two weeks to get that approval so that we can do, so that we can begin uh, to do the work. Of course, there are so many other uh, bad portions also, the coconut area, especially the area in front of Tinkam Ports, the warehouse, um, uh, warehouse road uh, to Eleventies to the Wharf Road, beg your pardon, is also another area that we're looking at. The rehabilitation of the Creek Road access, so that we can have a two-lane access into the ports. And all of those, are important roads and all of them are, are, are federal roads. So we, we have a responsibility to ensure that these things are done. The questions, uh, the questions of course, around how quickly, and that is really, uh, th that's really another issue. I know and one of the reasons why I asked that we should uh, find out why Dangote was so slow is because I know that there was a lot of issues, there were a lot of issues around removal of, uh, removal of pipes, removal of uh, some infrastructure that had been laid there, including gas pipes, pipelines, and all of that. So I think that now that that has been done, they really must move quickly, and we're going to sit, uh, well, we're going to make sure we sit on their necks to move as quickly, uh, as, quickly as possible. The um, other things that um, we, I wanted to talk about, I think the rail, rail from the ports, uh, I think that one of the one of what we had assumed would have happened by now is that we'll be able to work the narrow gauge rail and that we'd have been able to get goods out of the ports using the narrow gauge rail. And we had uh, an arrangement with GE, with General Electric, because they were supposed to rehabilitate it as part of a concession. Unfortunately, that hasn't worked. So we're looking at a second concessionaire who I'm told will be, will, will be coming in for negotiations from next week. So hopefully we'll be able to get uh, the, the narrow gauge refurbished. Of course, you know we're also doing a standard gauge, but that, is much, that, that won't get uh, here until much later. So I hope we'll be able to refurbish that narrow gauge rail using the second concessionaire, and so that might also ease movement of, of, um, movement of cargo out of, the, out of the port area. 
I, I think that uh, regarding the use of other ports, uh, I'm sure that the Minister of, Tran Minister of Transport would have uh, mentioned to us that one of the reasons why these other ports were not in frequent use was because of the security situations around those ports, Bori, Port Harcourt, on uh, Calabar, and all of that. But now, uh, just uh, I think about a couple of weeks ago, the Federal Executive Council approved the maritime security arrangement uh, for all of those areas, and that has already uh, been procured. So we expect that as soon as the uh, security, uh, the maritime security architecture is laid out, which, are, which, are, which as I said, will be uh, within a couple of months, we should begin to use those ports more frequently. And, I, and that will, of course, decongest, uh, the, will decongest the Apapa uh, and Tinkan uh, ports. For all the, the, so many of the other issues that have been raised, I think we're going to be looking at uh, motivation for uniform forces. I, I think motivation, uh, all of us know what motivation uh, means. <laughs> and communication gadgets and all of that. I, I hope uh, MPA will be able to assist with that, especially because um, you are right here on the ground and I'll also be speaking to His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, to, uh, develop a bit more muscle around uh, this motivation thing so that perhaps <laughs> we no, might we're, we're I, 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 thank you very much I think he's already <laughs> agreed that he will. so so I, I think we, 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 we won't have uh, uh, too many difficulties with that all, all said and done I mean what what I intend to do as uh, just as uh, uh, mr. president had directed is that we should and we will uh, meet as frequently as possible. I've already drawn up a, uh, some sort of a roadmap and a checklist of the various things that we need to do in the next couple of weeks to ensure that we're able to ease the situation around here, make it easier and more decent for people to live in this community and to work in this axis. It's important for us as, as a country, it's important for us commercially uh, also, and uh, we're definitely committed to making sure that it works. I, I probably will be around here maybe more frequently because I think that uh, maybe my, my coming, uh, as somebody had suggested, at least helps to open up the roads. So I think I might uh, show, up, show up a few more times. Maybe it might permanently open up, open up the roads. So thank you all very much, and I hope we'll be able to get this done as quickly and as efficiently as possible.